In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to upload your publication to your own server. We're going to be working within the Upload panel in the Output tab of the 3D Issue software. Now, 3D Issue has a built-in FTP uploader. This is going to allow you to upload your digital publications directly onto your website. Now, the first time that you open your software and try to upload your publication, enabled through a checkbox on screen here in the Output tab, you're going to be prompted to enter in your FTP details. These are login details that the software will need in order to access your website. You only have to enter these once. Those of you still working within the trial version of the software will see that the default option set for you in this area is entitled 3D Issue Trial Hosting. Now you can't edit these settings, however you can add another FTP profile. To add a new FTP server address, simply select the Add button. Enter a name for the FTP profile, any name that is suitable. The FTP address field is where you enter the FTP server address for your website. Now you may need to revert to your webmaster for this detail. It is important that the FTP server address is entered in this section. It matches the domain you provided when you first set up the software. This server address can also be in the form of an IP address rather than the domain name if you prefer. And for more information about the software setup, please refer to the training video on setting up your software. Next, enter the username and password to be used when accessing the FTP site. Under the advanced settings, you can select between FTP and FTPS connections to be used from the drop down menu under Protocol depending on your hosting setup. Now the use proxy server setting, some customers will connect to their FTP server through a proxy server and this section allows the user to enter the proxy details for the 3D issue software to connect to. The passive mode is an option relating into the way in which data is transferred during the FTP process. Passive is the default option and is what most FTP servers will be set to, otherwise it would be done in active mode. You may need to check this with your webmaster. The port number is defaulted to 21 for FTP, which again is what most servers will be set to, but this can be changed again if needed. When next is selected, the system will prompt you for the details of the upload location of the digital issue. The 3D issue library file location must be stated and the digital edition location must also be specified. Future issues will be stored to this location. In the next step, you'll be prompted to specify your library location. This should ideally be stored in the same directory that you specified as the location of your digital editions, just to keep things simple. Simply click Next again to specify that you wish to store the library file in the same directory as the issues. You'll now be presented with the confirmation screen. Here you can review the HTTP address for both your digital editions and for your library file. Sometimes you may be asked to provide the HTTP address path to both this, which would depend on the directory path that you specified in the previous steps. Just click Finish to exit the Upload Wizard. Now you are ready to build and upload the magazine. So let's select Build. When the publication has been built, you will be asked whether you wish to view it online or open folder. If you had not selected the Upload option within the software, then the View Online option would not be available to you at this point. The open folder will give you the details of the folder of the publication, which you can then send on to another person who may be responsible for updating your website, such as your webmaster. When the magazine has loaded, you can see the URL for the digital magazine on screen, and this can be sent via email to your readers. The same link is used to access the magazine for all devices. Those readers on a PC or Mac will see a flash version of the magazine load, but those on an iPad or iPhone will have the HTML5 version loaded instead, automatically. Both will load from the same URL. And that concludes this module on uploading your publication to your own server.